uh, start uh, now. So uh, welcome uh, Mr. Bùi Trung Thượng uh, will be open the speech. Ladies and gentlemen, Namaste and Xin Chào. Uh, a warm welcome uh, to the special session of Vietnam, uh, land for agricultural researches and innovation, Sorry. unlocking opportunity in investment. It's my honor to open this session on behalf of the Embassy of Vietnam and the Vietnamese delegation here in India. As we gather at World Food India 2024, we celebrate not only the diversity of global cuisine, but also the shared opportunity for collaboration between nations. Vietnam is proud to participate at one of the focus countries this year, recognizing the important role agriculture play in the economic and culture fabric of nation. With our vast agricultural resources, innovative spirits, and commitment to sustainable development, Vietnam is steadily emerging as a key player in the global food industry. Today, we will hear the distinguished experts and business leaders who represent the fourth fund of Vietnam agriculture growth. They will share insight on the immense opportunity Vietnam offers in terms of agriculture growth, from our hesitance in farming to cutting edge innovation that enhance value for global market. Mr. Dick Wicker, Chairman of 365 Group, will take you on a journey through Vietnam's risk agriculture hesitates, highlighting promotion, promotion missing business opportunity, and Madame Farm Van of Hong Sang Company in, in, into the exciting potential for fruit, especially in India market. From rice to whiskey, Mr. Nguyen Khánh Luân, the visionary behind the ground this theory will present a new image, purposely on how traditional Vietnamese agriculture is transformed into new and premier product. Finally, Mr. Ravin Naran Sinha, director of MSME Business Forum, will provide insightful case study on how Vietnam and India can unlock mutual business opportunity. We believe. This session will not only socket Vietnam agriculture well, but also open door for investment and partnership. Vietnamese companies, several of whom are here today, are eager to share their product and innovation. I will invite you all to engage with them and explore the opportunity that exists for collaboration in this vibrant sector. I would like to thank the organizer of World Food India, the Ministry of Food Processing, the FITKI, and Invest India for creating this platform. I look forward to fruitful discussion that will change time between India and Vietnam and global food community. I also would like to thank Mr. Kerr and one team who go uh, for a long way to be here uh, today and uh, also uh, invite you all to uh, visit Vietnam Pavilion at Holland World. Thank you very much for attention and I wish you all success. Thank you. for uh, Mr. Bui Chung Thương Open Smart uh, today and uh, welcome all of you to uh, 
have a meeting with us, especially we uh, come from Vietnam delegation. And uh, this is the second time we have a delegation from Vietnam to join World Food India. And uh, the last year, very successful, very successful to us. We have uh, more than 22 companies from Vietnam to join World Food India. And this year we have uh, 12 companies. And this is the second day, but uh, yesterday we have also a lot of, a lot of uh, clients, customers coming to our Vietnam Pavilion. And uh, today, so uh, I will be the, also the speaker of the, the land of agriculture, riches and innovation, unlocking opportunity in food processing and investment. Thank you. about the uh, Vietnam agriculture heritage, a rich traditional and growing potential for India and Vietnam cooperation. So let me introduce myself. I am uh, Mr. Ling Minh Cường. I am the chairman of Crucify Group. And I am leader of this Vietnam delegation to join the food uh, today. So uh, as you know that uh, I believe that India also a very good country for agriculture. And we from Vietnam, we also import a lot of things, a lot of products from India. But besides that, Vietnam also, we are this uh, leading agriculture nation. We are also export a lot of rice, coffee, cashew seafood, a lot of things. And at the moment, we also export a, uh, a dragon food, cashew nut, pepper, cinnamon, uh, some kind of agricultural product to India. So, Vietnam is the top explorer of agricultural goods and we contribute significant to global food supply. So, you can see that we have so beautiful uh, uh, mountain, beautiful sightseeing and also very good of uh, rice from Vietnam. So, uh, like I mentioned a previous slide, uh, Vietnam key uh, agricultural export, we export uh, coffee. Now we number one of export uh, Robusta coffee in the world. So Brazil is uh, their number one of export Ara uh, Arabica, but we are number one of Robusta in the world. And now we are also export a lot of coffee to India. In Vietnam, so maybe you uh, you didn't know that there's a one Indian company. They have the uh, factory in Dakar province, and now they are number three, the top number three, the biggest number three of the world. They export one day at least five containers of coffee bean to India. It's also my friend. So it means that one, one, one month they export more than 150 containers of coffee bean from Vietnam. Yes, this is the truth. And the name of company you can search on the internet, Mon, that means delicious. Company, but it's all by India. And we also have another company, this is from uh, Tata. Tata also opened the factory in uh, Pingyun province, and now they produce a lot of coffee and export back to India. So, as I mentioned, so now we have a lot of uh, opportunities for uh, uh, investment into agriculture. And I see that now a lot of Indian companies also coming to 
uh, Vietnam to looking for business opportunities. And they asked me to find some uh, land for cooperation for growing like uh, dragon food and uh, pepper. Yes, this is, I have some requests from uh, your size Indian. I think this is very good opportunity for us. Within two years, a lot of Indian company, Indian investor coming to Vietnam for looking for business opportunities. So our government also had a, also open very good, you know, good policy for attractive more API investor, especially uh, Indian and Indian investor. So the second part, I also would like to mention about the Vietnam, India, bilateral economic relation. So this is I love this slide so much because you know Vietnam and India are comprehensive strategic partner from 2016. So you can see that our father of nation also came to uh, India on 1958 for meeting the president of India. This means that we have long history for relation. And now it's very good uh, timing for, uh, for both of country, both of nation to uh, go further and deeper. And you can see that, that just uh, one month ago, our uh, Prime Minister also came to uh, India for meeting with uh, Mr. Modi. And we also have meeting with many uh, uh, big investor like Mr. Anani. Yes, so uh, Mr. Anani also have uh, promised to invest into Vietnam. And just one week ago, we have the big uh, damage from uh, Song. So Mr. Anani also supported one million US dollar. Am I right, Mr. Yes. So thank you very much for uh, support Vietnam. Yes. <coughs> And uh, this time, I also would like to mention why now we have much opportunities. Because, you know, uh, you can see that now the number of Indian tourism coming to Vietnam rapid growth. So, in 2021, we have more than 500,000 Indian tourism coming to Vietnam. And my very good friend, Peter Modan Mahan, said he mentioned to me that you know, in this year, 2024, he believed that this number will be increased more. So this is, uh, uh, this is the um, signal that you know, the more we have more opportunity for Indian investors coming to Vietnam for investment. So you can see that this is uh, the, the, the map of India and Vietnam. So we are strategic partnership, as I mentioned in the previous slides. And we also have the, uh, both countries have different that tie in trade, especially in agriculture and food processing sectors. So that's re that the reason why our uh, Vietnam delegation have uh, joined with Food India today. And uh, this is uh, the slide, you can see that from 2015 until 2022, so how much median trade volume between two countries. So in the 2022, we have uh, more than 15 billion for trade, billion trade between two countries, yes. And I believe that this one will be increased more and more. And this is key export from Vietnam to India. So what kind the product that we export to India? You can see that electronic components, uh, mobile phone, machinery, equipment. Of course, this is very important. This is agriculture product. Like I mentioned, like coffee, pepper, cashew, rubber, many kinds of uh, agriculture product from Vietnam. And this is key import from uh, India to Vietnam. So we import iron steel from machine gold, cotton, yarn, and any more feed and ingredient. Yes. 
So this is the uh, we just have one uh, meeting with two countries uh, like between the. We believe that the trade turnover will be increased, so to twenty billion until to two hundred twenty seven. So like uh, I talk, I mentioned the major export commodities from Vietnam and major import from Vietnam, from India to Vietnam. And the third part, I also would like to mention about Vietnam-India culture and tourism relation. Now Vietnam is very beautiful country. And you see that the more and the more Indian tourism coming to Vietnam for tourism. And a, lo a lot of them coming to Ho Chi Minh City, Hanoi, Da Nang, and uh, Ha Long Bay, and some, some uh, beautiful uh, uh, provinces. So last year, like I, I mentioned, so more than 500,000 Indian, 500,000 tourism coming. It's a big amount. So, I believe that will be increased more and more. And uh, also culture. So you see that this is uh, last year, I also joined with the Food India, and I'm happy to receive the minister coming. And also we're doing some culture uh, event in Ho Chi Minh City, like Namaste Vietnam. Yes. And especially, this is the first time we will show a cooperation between two countries. We're doing the, the film, this is Love in Vietnam. So this is uh, the first film uh, that we cooperate between two countries. And I believe that so this film will be uh, more uh, famous with the thin two nation and also with all over the world. So this is my presentation. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to invite Mr. Kang Luân, please come to join. Good morning, Mr. Thuong. Good morning, Sir Ravi. Good morning, Mr. Thuong. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Luân Kang. But the, in the India, my India friend give me a new name. My name now that is Kuma. Kuma. <laughs> so you guess see me that is Kuma. Okay. So I'm founder of the Dragon Distillery in Vietnam, and uh, I'm happy today uh, to uh, see that the India friend, you are very friendly, very smart, and. Uh, also, similar behavior of Vietnamese, uh, some of you like drinking after we are. And you know that in the agriculture, we have uh, that in the 10,000 of the year, when the people uh, begin to be that they grow in the agriculture revolution. And after that, we have uh, that in the uh, food for the people, and we have a more richer over the time. And the people being that in only that in 10,000 years of history. And in that 10,000 years of history, what we have in the book, A History of Work, in Sing the Last, so the famous drinking in the world, that should be coffee, tea, beer, Coca-Cola, drink, that is whiskey. So that is top six famous. And you know, in the India, because of the religion, some people don't try alcohol. So you don't try beer, you don't try wine, you don't try whiskey. That is, you lose 50% of your life. <laughs> <laughs> and you only drink coffee, tea, and Coca Cola. You know, Coca Cola makes you faster, but beer and whiskey makes you more strong. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the beer has uh, in the world about 8,000 years ago. Why happened in the world 
about 6,000 years ago, and the spirit that is 2,500 years ago. I guarantee you that it opened for any religion in the world. And the industry, you see, we should be thank you for the Louis Parker, a scientist from France. He has find the engine to mark that in the, the alcohol. So the history about 165 years. That means in the 10,000 years, the people mark alcohol, but they do that in nature. They don't know how the science to be. And with the Louis Parker, the people were first to introduce the engine and do the alcohol in the scientific the way, what we are doing. And you see that, what the spirit side in the world, so the total in the world in the year 2022, that is 560 billion for the drinking alcohol. No matter COVID, no matter what, a good business, the people still drink, and you see, when it grow, <laughs> right? <laughs> and spirit means that a vodka, rum, whiskey, zinc, tequila. So that is all the drinking that is around the world. I think. Let's see more detail. In the regional, you see that ASEAN market, we have a 11% projection for growth in the annual uh, riding market in Asia, still that in China, India, and Japan. So that is three largest in the ASEAN for now. Not only the out ASEAN, you see that in the mature market like North America, they still grow 30%. You see European, they also continue ring. South America, they also continue ring. But only that in the Middle East, they, they ring a little. So that means all the industry and around the world, so the drinking that is still continue increase over the time. What India spirit market? I'm really surprised with the job drinking. <laughs> you see, well, yesterday, some of the people don't pay the drink because some of the reason, but some of the people can tap the drink. Honestly, you spend about 65, 60% uh, of the market to do that in uh, spirit consumption. And uh, around that is the uh, 52 uh, uh, billion per year. So that is still a big number for the India market. Uh, we are a little understanding process. So is it difficult to mark wiki? Difficult to mark cognac? No. So everything up you understanding process, we can mark from prime. The Rasset to Mark Wiki, you can have a three thing. The first, that is distillation. For the cognac, the distiller, they have about 65 to 72 uh, percent alcohol. For some of the Wiki, they distill uh, go to the 80 to 85 of the alcohol. Uh, from rough, from well, from rye, everything after you distill, you have a a guy of alcohol scent. And the recept important that is aging. The aging that is you put the alcohol into the barrel. So depend on how the quality of the barrel, they generate the flavor. Vanilla, coffee, smoky. So depend on the technique you aging. <coughs> Physically, you see that the exchange for during the aging, the exchange atmosphere, between the barrel and the spirit, it generates the aroma of your ring. That is the key of the success of any little ring. You see that the alcohol loss in the Europe, the Western country, they lose about two percent. That means the cognac twenty year, you have not a half when you age it. And in Vietnam, and I think that in India also the same. The alcohol loss during the aging that is about eight percent. That is huge loss. That means we aging five years, similar 
in the Western, they exist 20 years. That is key factor we need to learn. Yeah. And you see that for the law in the French, they have a law for the exit minimum 2.5 years in the front for the exit. If you don't exit over 2.5 years, so that you cannot sell the good down. In the UK, the law, they do that with a 3 year minimum. And the capacity of the bedroom, that is low down 700 of little. How about the United States? They have uh, also the law to do that in Asian, at least that is uh, two years. But American, they ask you to put in the new barrel. <coughs> they don't allow you to review the barrel. So that is the technique of the law of the big country. And in the country like the, uh, Vietnam, India, Philippines, Thailand, we don't have law. Yeah. We don't have uh, any uh, but depend on how you love your ring, that it should be okay. In Vietnam, I have an uh, experience, and we do that in the uh, 25 months, that is two years. So you see that it's got a uh, ring 25 years old, but uh, within 25 months, that's good enough. <laughs> okay, and uh, important, <coughs> I say to the Ravi, Vietnam, we are the last with number two in the world in terms of the import price. And India, you are number one. Why? We don't have some green for our people. And I believe that India, the economic growth, the people more rich, and they more enjoy the life. And that is a huge market. So, started it. Uh, Vietnam realized it. We have it. We think. We said, we drink, we get married, we drink, we divorce, we also drink, <laughs> right? We drink any time. And I think that the drinking, that it makes people connection. India and Vietnam also send with you the drink at the opportunity to talk in order to bring the people near together. It's not like the Western. You see the Western style, if you want it, that's it. <laughs> and they don't read. They put back five minutes. They get. They put back now the five minutes. They put back. They don't read. <laughs> and what Vietnam and India we do? One two three, boom. One two three, boom. You know that is culture. Một <laughs> trăm. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So that kind of culture, we know Western what they ring. We know our people. We should be marked a similar and better for Western. Why you spend that is 65% of the alcohol import from Scotland? You have right. We have a right. And the right after you distill, just put in barrel. Guarantee three years open for wonderful. <laughs> and uh, that guy I think you see that the I have study. The bank, they did the investment about 16 years ago to match sake effect. In the past, sake also no one knows. But the 16 years ago, they have a heavy investment from government. After that, Korea. 40 years ago, Korea, they also invest for their soju. Now you go to Korea, everyone brings soju. China, 30 years ago, they invest for Malta. Before that, no one know Malta. And now Malta, framework, more, more 5,000, 10,000 units open. Very expensive. And now the town, India and Vietnam, we also promote our local in from right. Uh, what we do? So in the Vietnam, we do one the right, we call that brown right. The brown right, they have about three to four meters high during the in reason, we do that in the fundamental about 100 days and we bottle ready sell. We don't need two years, we only need three months enough. Right? Second, we do that in the off barrel from that French, 
we aiming that is to be that in the Gojek flavor. So it's actually the similar Gojek flavor as the brandy. And we have a new, we call that a fire it, dry whiskey. Why fire it? India that is east and Vietnam that far east. Right? We have a Middle East, we have a Near East, we have a East and we have a Far East. Vietnam that is Far East. Okay. <laughs> and we have a that is very beautiful. Very fun one. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you open the video please. Uh, sure. Yeah. So see the video, uh, we must from AI. So music from AI. So we say that they also need from Prime to Wiki. And an upload for our ASEAN country. So see the bike shop. Sudah So some people come visit them. They are come there back where our beautiful ladies stay over there living. And she need the traditional rig of the Vina or the from Hong San Company. This is a very famous fruit company from uh, Vietnam. So later on, uh, we would like to invite all of you to come to Vietnam Pavilion to try our special food like durian and many kind of food like dragon fruit. So, uh, thank you, Mr. Cường and Mr. Thường, Mr. Amir, uh, for inviting us to uh, come to the uh, World Food India uh, this year. So uh, that is the first time uh, we are here. So we have the uh, first day yesterday. Uh, can I ask you in uh, this room, how many people know about durian? <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Nosma. Because yesterday I have a 200 uh, customer Indian people get on my booth who ask me what is the food. What is this? Yes, and I say that it's durian. They say it is jackfruit, another kind of jackfruit. Yes, they are like Yes, so they, they told me that, oh, we have a jackfruit. But they smell it, and they say, oh, it's the stronger than jackfruit. Yeah, so um, Mr. Ku, uh, and uh, because uh, they, he in here, uh, introduce about the opportunity between Vietnam and India so uh, include the fruit yeah so Vietnam is uh, there are many different kind of tropical fruits uh, potential and we also export to many other country more than 30 country over the world uh, for us today we would like to introduce for you what strength of fruit with Indian people but I believe that next five years, if I still stand here to introduce about durian, at that time we can export here 200 container. Can you guarantee with me? Uh, so, um, this uh, Mr. Kuhn and uh, Mr. Tuck are also talking about the relationship between Vietnam and India. I have a lot of uh, uh, Indian friends, so. Uh, before, I think it's five years, six years, we 
meet one time in Vietnam or in India. But now every year, because every year they travel to Vietnam, and then they say they love Vietnamese food. Yeah, fruit. So, uh, what is they like? They they talk with the tourist group India. When you come to Vietnam, you must try. What is must try? Durian. So it become the challenge for the people, for the tourists when they are come to Vietnam. Yeah. So who will be challenged? Later, after finish our speak. Can I invite you to our boat to try durian? Yes. yes. Uh, so uh, between two countries, of course, the relationship is more close and there are open market for both Vietnam and India. Uh, so we hope that uh, we can bring our durian uh, to India yeah, to serve for Indian people. Uh, yesterday, 200 people walked on my boat so more than 100 people say, I want to buy, I want to try, and I want to for my family to try. But, and then many people expect this, uh, try it, and then they say, oh, creamy, sweetie. Yes, and it's not ugly as the people advertise on the television. So I haven't know that in the television in India what you are talking about durian. Yeah, but uh, I could like for you to try one time. So for the fresh one, um, the uh, for the fresh one will be very smell and strong smell, strong taste. So we could like to introduce to India market is the frozen one. So at the, uh, we bring here many other products, uh, yeah, and uh, specialty the durian. And so you can see on the map of uh, Vietnam, uh, we can grow the durian only in Mekong Delta, in Central Highland of Vietnam. So not in the north part of Vietnam because of in the north part of Vietnam they are frost season. So the durian. Uh, needs the fermented from the river and then they need the warm, the sun. Yeah. So our company is located uh, in the middle of Mekong Delta. Yeah, so that is the, our located middle of Mekong Delta. Then um, we grow uh, more than 40 hectares of durian. Yes, from 10 years ago. And so last year and this year, durian will become the emerging and golden fruit among Vietnam export. So many countries, uh, they contact to us and they ask us about, hey, I want to buy the durian from your country. So if we're talking about durian, how about you're thinking about what country will be the country of durian? India? Oh no, thanks. Uh, the people were talking about the Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia. Yeah. So uh, Malaysia and Indonesia is where the durian from. Yeah. They start from there, and they have a very famous durian in the world called the Mosang King. It's very very expensive and very special. Uh, so the second country uh, framework that's in Thailand, but they are the biggest volume country for export durian in the world right now. But next some year, it's not Thailand, maybe that is the Vietnam. Yeah, because now Vietnam is the second country for export uh, durian volume. And many we export now is a China market. Yeah, let I tell you, 10 years ago, the Chinese people is still challenged to try durian. Yes, but now everybody wants to eat durian. Almost more than 70%. So talking about the durian eater, I think 50% and 50%. 50% people try it, love it, and become the drug it. Like me. Every day I can eat durian. Yes. If I don't eat durian, I will feel like uh, last something. 
Yeah. So half of people will thinking about because that they might the durian is not good even they haven't tried it yet. So the most important that you need to try it one time. Okay. So that's why durian have a very strong smell. It will be forbidden in any hotel, any room, any aircon, any transportation, any airline. Yeah. So to bring it uh, out, we have many other way to process it, and one of the best way that is the frozen it. So our company is start from uh, 2011. So at that time, uh, the boss is stuck by collected uh, and selling durian. So it start from this year, durian start in Vietnam. But at that time, it's very small. Uh, they collected one day, it's around 500 kilogram, or one ton, two ton. Yeah, so hold the season. Maybe you can get like 20 ton, 50 ton, yeah. But in 2019, and they come, they continue from 2021 until 2019. So our collector is more than 5,000 ton a year. Yeah. So at that time we start the company, and because of the first one, it's still for only China market because it's near. Yeah, and that is the fresh food. It can keep up the is the rib. It's very smelly, and you have to finish it in one or two days. It cannot keep for a long time. So that's why we think uh, our bot is thinking about the processing durian. And the first one is the most easy one. That if you eat durian, you are not finished the fresh one, you put in the freezer. Yeah, and then after that, you bring them out to eat. So that is the easy way to do. And now, um, our export to more than 10 countries, uh, mostly is the China, uh, the second one is USA, Australia, Japan, and Korea. So let us show you how is the processing of uh, durian we are doing right now. So we will have uh, the fruit and we have to select it from the farm. Um, our company, there are more than 70 technical to come to check with the farm to collect it. And we have to cut by our technical from the farm because that is the most important processing to select the good quality of durian. And after we uh, get it, so we will clean the fruit because of, uh, do you know how the people pick up the fruit, have it from the tree? Have you seen any video? Okay, we need to have a two person. One will cut it, so then we drop them out, and another person will view the red, yeah, uh, a net to hack it, yeah, and drop it there. So it will be uh, take very good technical and really hard working day. Uh, that's why it have there a lot of leaf is we stick to the uh, durian and uh, uh, we have to clean it and there are a lot of uh, insect yeah attack the durian so that's why we need to clean the fruit the th the next one if you cut the durian uh, in the durian in the farm they are ripe so they will drop by themselves. So when you go to visit the durian farm, remember you need to have a helmet. Yes, yeah, helmet. And you know why in Highland Center of Vietnam they grow the durian? Because of they grow durian with the coffee farm. A lot of people will come to stolen the coffee. So at night time the durian drop themselves. Yeah, so it's become very dangerous. So that's why the first in make in, in Highland Center Vietnam they grow together in the farm with other fruit to protect their farm from the stolen. Yeah, yeah. So um, if you cut, if you let it breathe on the tree, the quality will be depend on hundred percent by the weather and the natural. So it's fifty fifty. 
So uh, after a long term uh, doing it, so we know now we will cut it. It's not ripe in the three years, and then we will ripping the fruit by ourselves by a control the temperature, the air ventilation. Yeah, and it become the ripe fruit. So after the ripe fruit, you have to check every hour. Yeah, so our technical have to come to check every hour if the, the fruit is ripe or not. Yeah, and we will use the most modern technical of frozen. It called the nitrogen frozen. So uh, I want to ask you, uh, if you want to frozen the food, so what you will do? What you will do? You will bring them to the minus like 30 or 40 degrees Celsius? Yes, but uh, this one will be make the fruit slowly, slowly frozen, right? So for our durian, we are directly put it in the nitrogen and then in 13 minutes, they will come to minus 156 degrees Celsius. So, it makes the durian is suddenly slipping. Yeah, it's not, it not frozen normally. It's suddenly slipping. So, uh, when it wake up, so you can smell it, you can feel it like more than 90% compared with the fresh one. Yeah, so that is the most modern technical in Vietnam and our company is the first company in Vietnam to invest it. Yeah, to do it. And first time we bring to your uh, to uh, US and Korea Korean market. So the people is suddenly uh, shocked. They say it that's flat or frozen. I say it is frozen. But when you throw them out, they are like a fresh hundred percent from the look outside. Yeah. So later if you want to see the real one, come to my book. Yeah, Vietnamese uh, authentic book. Yeah. So after you try you uh, frozen it, you will uh, keep it in the store. So normally we store in minus uh, 20 degrees Celsius and we export to other country by the refer container. Yeah, refer container normally it will be minus 18. Yeah, so how you sell it? So you can keep it frozen for how long? Actually our Normal frozen, you can keep for one year, so they can be change the color of the cell. But for our nitrogen frozen, we can keep for two years cell life. It's keep keep like that, yeah. And then when you throw them out, you need to finish them all. Of course, any other frozen food, if you you throw them out, you need to finish this, yeah. So, uh. For export and then so right now we use the technical to change. Uh, you can change my durian. If you uh, change my durian, they will show you from the raw material region uh, to the farmer where it flowing, where it will be fruit, where it's ripe, where we cut it, when we cut it, and then when we are processing it. So. This all, uh, if the international importer want, they can chase all the durian uh, from the farm, yeah, until when we are processing, deprocessing the people, uh, the, the product, yeah, and uh, when it will be transferred on weak container, arrive to your country. Yeah, and even the permission number on the the, the, the uh, QR code when you cross it is also show you where it's durian farm, which farm, uh, from uh, which uh, processing company, yes, and uh, it's in your hand. But everything with the technical right now, you can see it. And uh, as the middle one show you the video by AI, so we also right now doing another uh, IE about talking about the how to eat durian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, 
we hope that uh, we can bring Durian to uh, Indian markets and I hope all of you here will be the first people to support us to export to India. Is this okay? Uh, yes. Yes. yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Fan. Very good uh, and uh, attractive presentation. And of course, uh, uh, durian is a king of fruit. So I believe that if somebody try, try it and love it, and you cannot stop. Yes. And uh, durian now is the main fruit of Vietnam to export to China and uh, other countries. So later on, uh, we would like to invite all of you to our Vietnam Pavilion. Then uh, Miss Van will show you how to eat. And I believe that you will love it. And the next, I was like to introduce uh, my very good friend, Mr. Ravi Nadan Singh. So he, Singha. So he will show uh, how Vietnam and uh, India friendship, also how you would like to invest into India to Vietnamese company. Welcome, sir. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, sitting here, and to our friends from Vietnam, Zen Chao. I'm thankful to the Ministry of uh, Trade, to the World Food India Expo, which brought international state participation like Vietnam here. And let me tell you, my friends, in India first, while we are sitting here offline in the beautiful Bharat Mandapam and talking, there are people in Vietnam, if I'm not wrong, Mr. Bui, there are people from Vietnam who that is online, more than a thousand people currently listening to us. That shows the amount of interest Vietnam has in India. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a couple of things I would like to highlight about Vietnam here. And it's when I'm saying highlighting, I have my colleagues sitting here, Namrita, who is heading one of the top legal firms in India, along with Mr. Arindam and Ms. Kavita here, who have been to Vietnam on the invite of the government of Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, couple of statistics to start with, which will give you the strength of the country Vietnam, before I come to what you have just heard from the eminent speakers. Every day, 1500 visas are minimum issued for Indians to travel to Vietnam, which is a phenomenal number. 1500 visas and let me tell you this is one country in ASEAN watch out is going to not only be talked about I am confident it's going to be something like Singapore it is going to be Singapore because today it comes under world's top 35 growing economies in the top 35 Vietnam comes so you can understand in ASEAN region where Vietnam is scaling up to. What a beautiful presentation, my, my good friend, I think the, I, I've seen from Mr. Kuhn, uh, who has shown us and, and Mr. Bui, who's from the, who, from the High Commission and, and from the Embassy, has been always talking of India-Vietnam relations. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you statistics because statistics is what India always says. The statistics says the per capita income of Vietnam is 13,333 US dollars, which shows it is increasing every day. This is the potential. Now, come to the second point. See the quality of manufacturing. I think amazing. Minus 120 degree, you are freezing the jackfruit. I think the, the, the durian, sleeping durian. Ladies and gentlemen, after this program, I would invite all of you to please do not miss going to hall number one and seeing the Vietnam Pavilion. And when you go there, please taste the durian. I tasted yesterday along with my colleagues. It was amazing. And after tasting durian, please also taste the coffee there. 
I'm telling you, Starbucks will get a get a lot of lot of competition from from Vietnam. So Vietnam is making. Do taste the cold coffee. I can tell you, I cannot officially stand here and say in the morning you can taste the rice whiskey. But yes, it is tempting. Nobody, nobody would like to go without tasting a, 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 a rice whiskey. And today I heard a new new line called Far East. That's good. So I think we can take this and we can call Vietnam Far East, not Middle East, not East, but Far East. That's very good. <coughs> what is very, very good about Vietnam? The agri products which is coming to India, ladies and gentlemen, I will, I will tell you the states, West Bengal is heading when it comes to import of agri products from Vietnam, followed by Andhra Pradesh followed by states like, like Tamil Nadu, which is even importing coffee from there, which goes to show, which goes to show the quality of Vietnam products. And if you happen to see the manufacturing at Vietnam, the processes are above par, because what I will say is it's clean. It's, it's absolutely to the, to the core of what precision is. And they follow each and every steps. Another statistical data which I would like to give you here. What are the what are the imports volume that is coming from Vietnam? Oil seeds, 25.4 million tons of uh, value of, of, of uh, goods are being imported from Vietnam. Fruits. And I'm telling you one thing, I think my, my colleagues who have traveled with me, please do not miss tasting the Vietnam fruits, especially after COVID, India has suddenly had a high in tasting dragon fruit. So if you want to taste dragon fruit, Vietnamese dragon fruit is amazing. And ladies and gentlemen, please do not forget to drink the coconut of Vietnam. You, I'm, I'm telling you, the moment you drink coconut water of Vietnam, you will see the difference. It's amazing. Yarns, pepper. Sir, you have an Indian name, Mr. Kumar. Let me tell you, because you have come India, and India is a country which says Atiti Devo Bhava. So we cannot make you go without encouraging you. The imports of whiskey in India is 316 million. Three sorry, it's a data. It's an Indian economic survey data which I'm telling you. So I was noting down the data because with such a fantastic presentation, who would not like to go in that bar? <laughs> At least I'm, I'm going to put my visa, Mr. Boy, to go there. And I think so will be my colleagues, Mr. Arindam and all. Join the, yes, yes. So, so, uh, so that's, that's 316 million uh, value of whiskey we are, we are importing. Couple of very good news that I would like to share with you. When I said 1500 visas are being issued every day, not month, every day. Ladies and gentlemen, the fastest and the cheapest visa is a Vietnam. Two days and you will get your visa. Two days. Now, it's not only the visa, ladies and gentlemen. Last time when the Prime Minister came, we saw the photograph, the Prime Minister was here. We have a direct flight. We have not only the Vietnam Airlines, but we also have Vietjet now flying direct Ahmedabad, Ho Chi Minh. And you must visit the city Ho Chi Minh. You will see the beauty. And, and I was very happy. I met, met Mr. Hoi, who is the, who's the country head for Vietnam Airlines here. Hospitality on board Vietnam Airlines is amazing. So is your Vietjet. So, so I don't know from which perspective I should not tell you to visit. And the good thing again is we all are talking sustainability. We all are talking go green, grow this. Vinfast, one of the EV cars of Vietnam. Amazing. What an experience sitting. I would say, you would say, sir, I'm boosting sitting here, but it could even be Tesla. It was so good. I think Namrita and I think Kavita would agree with me here when we when we when we had a drive in 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 Vinfast in 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 Vietnam. They are setting up a plant here in Tamil Nadu. This goes to show, ladies and gentlemen, what I had said in my opening remark. 
So we had always seen Singapore as a country. Watch out for Vietnam now. This is a country which is coming with its purest form. And when you see the farms of Vietnam, it's such nicely pedicured and manicured. So everything starts at a level of, of, of purely organic. And I think the best proof will be after this program, if all of us really go to hall number one in the Vietnam pavilion and you will see the taste and the food. To my friends who are listening from Vietnam and here who are present, India is a big market for you. 140 million. And 140 million, Miss, Miss Pham, to be very honest, after COVID, we have become very conscious of what we are eating. We are very conscious of the food that we are eating. And that's where you all, as a country, Vietnam, scale in very fast. I have seen the entire supply chain of how smooth it is. They also have a free treaty agreement with us. Even, even setting up, good companies are setting up offices and factories in Vietnam. Ease of doing business in Vietnam is very easy. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, the support that I have seen from 365 Group, just land there, or for that matter, Mr. Bui, land there, you will not be in a problem. Sir, I, in that case, rate Vietnam higher than UAE. So, I think we all should give a round of applause for ease of doing business. The idea of informing the delegation which has come from Vietnam is <coughs> India is a, is, is a very big market. You should not only see India as north. Sir, south is a very big coffee market. South is a very big market for, for, your, for your cashews which you, which you export. Similarly, tea. The entire India is a tea drinker and whiskey, sir, nobody says no to whiskey. <laughs> In India, we don't say no to whiskey. Ma'am, for your fruits, let me tell you, Indian fooding habits have changed where fruits, fruits have become a priority. And quality fruits, everybody, today with the, with the middle income group rising, the expenditure or the spending power of Indians have increased for quality products. I think, Namrata, you'll agree to me, the quality of products that we are having, uh, Kavita has been dealing exclusively with, with institutional buyers and we have seen how much interest they are having for quality products and that's where Vietnam will, will play a very, very crucial role. My idea here is you have your electric vehicle coming here, you have your fruits coming here, you have your coffee coming here, you have your whiskies coming here, you have Indian tourism traveling now. So, so I think that is, that is and at the cheapest possible uh, visa pricing. Our visa, the Vietnam visa is not very costly. It's only, I think, $25, if I'm not wrong. $25 is, I think, less than the cost what you will take for an Uber to come from Gurgaon to Delhi and back. And you are in Vietnam. Right? And I am very much impressed, very, very happy. And, ladies and gentlemen, this is one country which loves India. The, the slide shown by Mr. Kung is very, very close to my heart because I am related to the first president of India. So his, his that picture, I, I had told him that uh, uh, this, was, this was very, very close to my heart. And trust me, the love and warmth that you will, that you will find in your Vietnamese friends and, and the affection that will be, be brought with good business values is amazing. So I welcome you all. It was lovely addressing in the word food, India, the Vietnam delegation. So as in saying Vietnamese, come on, which means thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You did very good uh, speech. And uh, all the beautiful things, you know, uh, from Vietnam, you know, that's been the very have to all of you. And now, so we come to the Q&A. So, uh, we are very happy if we have any questions from all of you here. Thank you. Be free to ask any questions. That will be, that will be very good.
Yeah, good morning. I am Sanjay Gupta from Ministry of Food Processing Industries. I have a question with the madam regarding uh, that durian fruits, madam. So you do the whole fruit frozen or uh, it's a uh, cut fruit? Yes, thank you for your question. We do both. So we frozen whole fruit and then we also take out and take the pulp and frozen. So later if you come to my boat, I will sell you two of my main product one to export to India. Okay, my next question, how much time it takes to thaw? Pardon? To thaw it again, deep freeze. Ah. If you thaw them out, so normally if you thaw the normal fruit like meat, right? So there are two best way. The first way you keep it in the uh, chill temperature, like from two to five degrees Celsius. So they will be take you to six, six to eight hour. But if you bring them to the normal room temperature, so uh, for the pop, we already pack it in the tray. It will take you only half an hour to drink, to, to, to enjoy. And for the fruit one, the whole fruit one, it will take you to one to two hours. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So your next question, Uh, good morning. Uh, this is Vikas from Jitben Supply Chain Private Limited. Uh, I, it was a very great presentation of what Vietnam and Ho Chi Minh is coming from Ho Chi Minh to at least Vietnam to India. One very basic is that Vietnam is accepting a lot of animal feed produce like, uh, like DDGS, maize and stuff. We have been into agri imports and exports. We find it difficult to find clients who work with banking terms in Vietnam. I would request the consulate uh, ambassadors to at least the Chamber of Commerce because the moment we try discussing with uh, Vietnam counterpart, the consignees, bankability, traceability, financial traceability and transparency is something we find it difficult and effort in that would smoothen the trade both ways and balancing the trade. Please. Yeah, uh, Mr. Gupta, Vikas Gupta. Because gee, we already have a Bank of India in Vietnam operating. So number one is, again, this is a question of a bit of awareness. The Bank of India operates out of Ho Chi Minh, which, is, which can be a very, very good uh, answer to the banking solutions for Indian enterprises. Also, I at this moment, I cannot uh, disclose, but... Uh, during the recent visit of Honorable Prime Minister of, of Vietnam and when he was in India, there was discussion of one more PSU bank operational operation uh, starting in uh, uh, your Vietnam. Second part is, there are a lot of tie-ups that State Bank of India and Bank of uh, Baroda has done uh, in ASEAN, which is rooted through DBS Bank, which is rooted through UCBC Bank in Singapore. So MSME Forum or Namrita Ji's team, the ALO will be more than happy to guide you uh, for this. So I'll be very happy to guide you offline and, and, and support you. But Bank of India is operating there. They have branches there. And to Mofi, I think uh, Jagjit Ji was there in Vietnam when, when this, this entire thing was being planned. So a really round of applause to the entire people who have worked with you and the entire team. Uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll tell Secretary Ma'am also that it, was, it is a wonderful program that you have done because of which this wonderful thing could happen. Right? It is amazing. All the, all the officials of MOFI are, are to be credited for this. I'm Subhash, uh, I represent, uh, I'm from uh, the Food Processing Department, Government of Andhra Pradesh. Uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Vietnam for uh, excelling in uh, the food processing sector. So for uh, quite a while, for the last four or five years, we have been uh, discussing about Vietnam's progress when it comes to food processing in all quarters, not only uh, in the government sectors, but also in the private industry. 
So thanks to the presentation and also thanks to uh, Mr. Uh, Avisi Nahju uh, for uh, you know, giving us uh, you know, such a wonderful introduction about Vietnam and making all of us envy about uh, Vietnam's achievements. So, uh, sir, uh, actually, uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh has been one of the major exporters of uh, shrimp. So, and we contribute to almost like 37 percent of India's shrimp exports. Okay, uh, and most of it is going to Vietnam uh, for further processing, Absolutely. as I understand. So, because more, uh, we are concentrating mostly on the primary processing plant and secondary processing, which is breaded shrimp, but all is happening in Vietnam, and they're exporting further. And uh, like how you have uh, durian as a fruit, we also have mango. So we are the largest uh, producers and exporters of mango in the country. So there also we see a lot of opportunity and most of durian is also now entering into the Hyderabad and uh, Andhra Pradesh and the southern parts of the country. So people are also showing a lot of interest. And uh, definitely dragon fruit has been a great success. And now uh, several uh, parts of Andhra Pradesh now we have large uh, uh, dragon fruit orchards, like you know, uh, plantations and even government under the Ministry of Horticulture, they are also promoting uh, dragon fruit in a big way. So we see a lot of uh, you know, synergies and collaborations that are possible, both in terms of processing imports and exports. And uh, Andhra Pradesh has a newly formed state. Uh, we are keenly exploring opportunities, uh, both in terms of uh, you know, industry investments uh, coming to Andhra Pradesh and also Andhra Pradesh going and investing in other, other parts. And uh, as Mr. Kuhn has mentioned about the coffee, uh, we have CCL, Continental Coffee, which is one of the major exporters and major importers of coffee uh, uh, and largest process of coffee in India operating from Andhra Pradesh. Okay, they also have a plant, I mean, uh, uh, they are stalling our pavilion, which is in the hangar area. In the hangar. So they have set up their uh, you know, unit. So they also have set up a crossing unit in Vietnam. Okay, so with their encouragement last year, we invited uh, Vietnamese delegation and we had delegation from Daknam province. Daknam province, about 12 members have visited Andhra Pradesh. We facilitate their visits and certain things are about to be, you know, uh, 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 you know some investments are going to happen very, very soon. So I take this opportunity inviting all the delegation here and especially Mr. Yun for his uh, whiskey uh, opportunity that we see here and we are also made producers of rice and, uh, and several varieties of rice are also being produced in Andhra. So I see a lot of opportunity uh, for collaborating and Andhra Pradesh state government is also now promoting industrial food parks. So uh, recently we have come with a new policy to establish food parks, exclusive food parks with all common crossing facilities where it will be like a plug and play kind of a facility. All ETP facilities will be created, storage facilities and everything will be created, only the industries have to come do their crossing and plug and play kind of In fact, you'll be very happy to know that I had initiated the discussion with the EED uh, board of uh, Andhra. Yeah, I think they call it the economic, uh, EDD, economic development. Yeah. Board. So yeah. Mr. Prakash was in touch. Prakash is here. Yeah. This Mr. Prakash is here and uh, not here. He's in the building. Yes. Yes. So I wanted uh, the Vietnamese delegation, Mr. Kong. I think uh, Mr. Kumar is a very good invitation that. Andhra Pradesh is extending and I think again thanks to the team of me that because of you I think a state government is directly inviting Vietnam. Yes. I think Vietnam must visit all the members must visit uh, so please, uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh. Yes sir. So our, our Honorable Minister for Industries and Food Processing is also in our pavilion today. Uh, Com Commissioner of Industries and also Commissioner of MSME are also present. Hall number 5. Uh, it's, it's hangar, sir. Uh, it's hangar. It's okay. hangar opposite to hall number 14. Exactly opposite to hall number 14. I'll, I'll guide you. So okay, we'll please, please, yeah. please do make a visit and we can definitely. Yeah. So I think a round of applause for the state of Andhra Pradesh. So please do visit and we can. I mean, I can assure you that there will be definitely a, a wonderful opportunity waiting for you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so much. And in fact, uh, Andhra Pradesh, sir is one of the most upcoming and now more aggressive state when it comes to development, when it comes to partnership, when it comes to uh, uh, MOUs being signed for actual ground action. Yeah. So I think uh, visiting Andhra Pradesh and having a Vietnam because they have already been in Tamil Nadu and they have said I think it will be, it will be fantastic and I think uh, uh, I think ALO can also work very closely with the state government.
So thank you very much. Let me uh, I need to uh, 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 several times. And uh, most uh, uh, recently, uh, Chief Minister Andy Rabrat with the Naibu also uh, met uh, the CEO of Vinfarm and uh, many others also. So we are really look at to explore the opportunities there. And uh, sure, we will visit the store here. And also, we would like to propose that maybe next year, uh, we also would like to invite Andy Rabrat to form the invitation to visit Vietnam. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The invitation to visit Vietnam. Then uh, there are several programs there, so uh, we will uh, circulate to you, my police, and I will share the contact with them, and we will uh, uh, keep in touch. <coughs> and uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, for some more than half hour uh, session. So uh, we, uh, from embassy, we uh, have this list for some time uh, to uh, some children uh, here today. And uh, one more again, we also extend our uh, invitation on our mercy dinner and on the phone Vietnamese delegation we have to visit all of one where uh, you can uh, you can have everything there. You have uh, coffee, you also have a durian, you have for durian, you also have uh, whiskey. Uh, in the last time you can go to the test, you can test uh, and many other. So, uh, once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the time, and we uh, really uh, look forward to uh, number one, uh, welcome you all to Vietnam very soon, and number two, uh, I think we also are uh, looking for any opportunity to talk with me and everyone here. Uh, so, thank you very much. Yes, yeah. you wanted to say something. Yeah, I just want to thank all of you <coughs> on the behalf of Ministry of Food Processing Industries. Uh, and, uh, one thing, no, so you have to say something or you have to finish? Sir, can I ask everybody to clap for the Ministry of Food Processing oh, Industry for such a lovely... I think you are tiny how many children in Kenya. Because of them we are here. Thank you, thank you. And to the Vietnam, for the country Vietnam. Please. Thank you. So, uh, we are also talking about you, uh, you want to uh, have uh, one group photo. So, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please come. Yeah. Yeah, we have a group photograph. Yeah, search time. Very nice, sir. Yeah. Ready? Okay, so we want group photo, please. Number ten. Welcome, welcome. Very nice. Very nice. Anybody else? Okay, please, please come. Please come. Yeah, we have a team. 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 We